So here uh, we're looking at um, the versa director screen. We have uh, the monitor, um, you know, configuration, workflows, administration, and analytics. So the uh, configuration screens provides the mechanism to configure various network and security features. Monitor screen provides uh, real-time monitoring of current traffic, you know, the various devices, the health of the various devices, uh, the, the health of various uh, services, the, the security profiles, you know, the policies and how they're getting applied, right? Uh, the Versa Analytics provides historical view of what transpired on the network over a period of time. So here, like, uh, we can just go to configuration first, right? So the configuration, I've selected a template and uh, each template is capable of like hosting multiple tenants. So here, uh, here the tenant is customer one. So for, for this template on uh, for, for tenant customer one, we have the network and security and objects and definitions and some miscellaneous config. So in the network, uh, we have zone protection profiles, right? And then uh, in the uh, services, we have next-gen firewall. Here we have DOS authentication, decryption, and security, right? So, um, so when, it, when a packet enters the Versa appliance, and um, for that packet, if security is enabled, like with next-gen firewall and UTM. So these are the five modules, the security modules that we apply. First, we apply the, the zone protection. Okay, so uh, once the zone protection is cleared for that uh, packet, then we apply the DOS protection. After that, we apply the authentication policies and profiles. Then we apply decryption. Then the, we apply security policies and profiles. This is a, in this exact same order in which the security modules are applied to the packet. And once all of this processing is done, if the if the traffic if the packet is allowed, then we forward the packet out. Right? So uh, we can just go uh, briefly over like what's in the zone protection profile. So here we have various kinds of uh, flood uh, detection and mitigation. Uh, we have uh, uh, reconnaissance uh, detection, you know, various kinds of IP scans and, and, um, and port scans can be detected. And various kinds of, um, you know, anomaly-based uh, detection, right? So uh, at IP, UDP, TCP layer, anomalies can be detected and prevented. So once the zone protection profile is uh, configured, then uh, you can select any any zone and apply the zone protection to that zone. Right? So when you go to like, for example, the interface LAN zone or the WAN zone, right? So you can apply which zone protection profile should be enabled for that particular zone. So uh, once the zone protection is, uh, is, is, is processed, then uh, we go into the, uh, denial of service, authentication, decryption, and security. So each of these modules have policies and profiles. Okay. So the policies are actually uh, designed to segregate the traffic into smaller different uh, traffic streams. And depending on that traffic stream, you can apply various threat profiles, right? For, for denial of service, we have DDoS profiles. For authentication, we have authentication profiles. For decryption, we have decryption profiles. So this is also goes to the architecture, right? So where, um, you know, by the time the, the traffic reaches the security policies, the authentication decryption is already complete. So we don't actually punt back as back and forth between different modules. And that's exactly why we ordered the security modules in this fashion, right? And if there was any DOS attack, you know, you know we don't, we're not, you know, um, processing some expensive DPI operations here or decryption operations. So um, th that actually provides a mechanism to first you know, protect the device itself against the DOS attacks and then apply the security policies. So in the security policies, like if you consider any rules here. So we, um, we have various different match criteria based on source and destination, headers and schedule, layer seven match, user group match, right? And based on that, we can enforce, right? So, so here in the first four tabs, it's um, and condition. So if you specify more than one match criteria, all of that match criteria should be met. Only then the traffic will be considered as matching this particular rule. And, uh, and then for, for that traffic, we will we'll enforce all of the actions we define in the enforcement tab. So here in the source and destination, we can match based on zone, based on site ID. So the site ID is, def is actually supported only for SD-WAN traffic. Uh, for um, uh, underlay traffic, uh, the, the site ID doesn't uh, apply. And uh, for the uh, destination and source and destination addresses, uh, we support um, 
you know, matching based on addresses, address groups, and uh, geolocation. And for the uh, address object itself, we support um, IPv4 uh, ad address prefix, a wildcard mask, range, IPv6 address prefix, FQDN, dynamic address. Uh, headers and schedule is based on IP address, IP headers, and we also have um, the TCP, UDP port and protocols. We support both um, predefined and user-defined. Predefined um, services correspond to the IETF defined standard uh, port and protocol combinations. The user-defined ones uh, are actually per customer. Right? Uh, and uh, we have schedule-based policies, so you can create recurring, non-recurring policies based on like time of day or um, weekday, weekend, or um, um, you know policies that automatically get enabled sometime in the future and auto expire as well. Uh, we have layer seven with application and URL match. You know, we have support for more than 3,500 applications out of the box. Uh, we have both predefined application filters and groups, um, as well as user-defined uh, applications, uh, filters and groups. Uh, with uh, URL categories, we have uh, 83 predefined categories, and we also have support for user-defined categories. User group match, uh, we have um, various forms of like authentication with uh, uh, LDAP, SAML, um, local database, uh, and Kerberos. And you can match based on like users groups. Uh, and once the traffic matches all this match criteria, you know, in the enforcement, you have all aspects of security, which is like visibility with logging and packet capture, access control with allow, deny, reject, and threat prevention with um, various different threat profiles, right? Um, so all aspects of security, visibility, access control, and threat prevention all in one time. Okay. Uh, with all these threat profiles, we have uh, <coughs> provided both um, predefined profiles as well as user-defined profiles. Same thing with um, antivirus, so predefined and user-defined. And with IDS IPS as well, uh, we have both predefined and user-defined. And with the URL filtering also, we have predefined and user-defined, right? So the details of these predefined profiles are actually available here. In the objects tab, when you go to the predefined, we have the predefined objects as well as the profiles all defined here. So if you want to look at like specifically, you know, how the IPS profiles are configured and tuned, for example. So here we have um, uh, the, the, predef the predefined profile recommended, you know, and we set filters are based on severity and CVSS score. So all vulnerabilities, you know, which have um, CVSS score uh, six to 10 get selected, right? And all um, attacks that have severity critical or high get, get included, right? Uh, so similarly, like we have a lateral movement detection profile. So this one selects all the lateral movement detection. The class type is lateral movement. Okay, um, so once you have configured um, all the policies and profiles for security configuration, you can both monitor and analyze, right? So in the monitoring screen, when you go to um, the devices, you can select uh, any device, right? And within the device, um, you can select the services. And here we have Nixon firewall. Within the Nixon firewall, we have the DOS protection. So we, we discussed how the DOS protection get, gets applied. You can monitor in real time how that's being applied to the traffic. After zone protection is the, uh, is the DOS protection. So here you can actually you know, select like um, how, the, how the DOS module is actually processing the traffic. We have decryption. You can monitor how the traffic is getting uh, decrypted. Right. Um, okay, and we, you can also monitor how the security policy and profiles are getting applied. We have various threat profile monitoring. We have IP filtering, uh, URL filtering, antivirus, IDS, IPS, various security package updates that uh, were applied to the device and what is the status of the security updates. And you can also like look at sessions in real time. Okay, and you have the uh, the uh, authentication policy as well with user identification, you can monitor in real time, you know, which users are live on the system, right? Um, and we also have uh, analytics, right? Here, um, 
you know, there's a historical view of like what transpired on the network from security perspective. We provide the dashboards. You can start out high level dashboards with applications, URLs, uh, bandwidth consuming applications, um, top security rules that are getting hit, uh, the, the top destination IP addresses and source IP addresses. And uh, you can also monitor based on like zones and firewall actions and top threat types. We also have the application view of the traffic. So based on um, the different application, and we also tag the application with risk, productivity, family, and subfamily. You can analyze you know, from a high level view, uh, and then you can drill down deeper into like what this traffic is about. We also have the uh, web view of the traffic. Uh, it was based on URL categories and URL reputation. We have the firewall view of the traffic. You know, based on the firewall rule, the source and destination IP addresses and zones, as well as the, the QoS metrics applied. And we have uh, threats based on web-based threats. We have IP-based threats, you know, antivirus, IDS, IPS. So for every threat profile, we have like high-level dashboards and um, we provide the ability to drill down deeper. When you get to the, to the logs, right? So we actually have like detailed logs about the timestamp, which clients logged it, you know, the five tuple layer seven match. We have um, the protocol action, the firewall rules selected, uh, various kinds of like device level information, as well as the uh, geolocation. Um, and if the um, authentication was enabled, which user uh, generated that traffic. And we also have the metrics about, uh, you know, how many packets were sent and received, how many bytes were sent and received, what is the session duration, um, and what is the, um, the the bandwidth consumed by that application? Right. So here, like we have a very detailed view, uh, micro flow view of all the traffic, and um, you know you can also correlate. So for every session, uh, depending on how many network and security functions you have enabled, and if you have enabled logging for them, and depending on that, for each session we may support we may generate more than one log. Right. So for example, here. For this session, there were two logs, right? And we have like ID, IDP specific logs, we have uh, antivirus specific logs and so on, right? So uh, so depending on like how, uh, how many, uh, how much logging you have turned on, you'll be enable all of this different logging. Um, 